triple F at foxsoccer.com. Three, two, three, Just call me six, Schiffer. nine. You can text away. And we are very pleased to welcome to the show Houston Dynamo and US international footballing star Stuart Holden. Hey, Stuart, how are you? How's it going, guys? Uh, thanks for having me on. Looking forward to it. All right. Fantastic. Uh, quickly, before we get to the US stuff, uh, tell us about the game on uh, Sunday. Bit of handbags, right? Yeah, it was, uh, it was a rough one. Um, you know, our field this time of the year isn't the best, and it's, it's narrow, and uh, it was a pretty chippy game all around, and lots of tackles flying around, and then, uh, yeah, as you said, you know, some handbags and purses were flying around at the end, and some pushes and shoves that, you know, resulted in obviously a red card and a couple bookings, but uh, I think it's a, a taste of what's to come in the playoffs, you know, we could see them uh, first or second round of the playoffs, and uh, it will be uh, an, just as intense of a game. How do you think you match up against the Galaxy? Um, I think two two pretty even teams. I mean, I think uh, obviously you know they have some some talented players that can uh, you know some, do some good things on the on the attacking end, but also they've, they've kind of uh, firmed up their defense this year. So um, you know, I think uh, we're a team that that's the last couple games we've started to play better and better as it, as uh, as we've gone, and you know just little bounces here and there are going against us. And uh, you know, I think uh, you know we're ready, we're ready to hit some good form going into the playoffs. Now, it, listen, do, do you know how fortunate you are to have Dominic Kinnear as your coach? I mean, are you aware of that? Uh, I wasn't when I first, you know, came around the team. To be honest, when I first joined, uh, you know, the Dino, they just moved from San Jose. And, you know, I'd heard that they were a good team and, you know, that Don was a good coach. But, you know, having worked with him now, this is my fourth year, um, wow. you know, I think you kind of look back and, you know, I feel like I've progressed a lot under a player and as a player underneath him. And, you know, I feel like I've learned a lot from him and John Spencer and, you know, the whole coaching staff that Dom has around him. And, um, you know, I've been very fortunate to have him as a coach, you know, both on and off the field. Stuart, t tell us about your, your delivery of a football because uh, the, over the last couple of seasons, it, it's getting seriously Beckham-esque. And I, I know that might sound like an exaggeration, but the way you're striking the ball really m reminds me of David Beckham. Is, is that something that you're just developing by yourself or are you getting some tips from somebody? Yeah, I think it's more of practice, you know, and, and to be honest, Brad Davis is, uh, you know, he delivers a great set piece and, uh, you know, having worked with him and, and uh, you know, and obviously watched Beckham growing up as a Man U fan in, in Scotland and um, all the rest of it, but I think it's just practice and it's it's a thing that, you know, I try and do after practice is, is working on free kicks and set pieces and, and all the rest of it because, you know, as you guys were talking about earlier in the show, you know, more and more goals are coming from set pieces. And, you know, if it's a tough game that, you know, is tight and, uh, you know, games can be won by a set piece, by a goal in, say, the 80th minute or, you know, even just one goal can win a game. And if that can be off a set piece that, you know, I've delivered, then, you know, that gives me a lot of, uh, a lot of pride. Well, I'll tell you, I mean, look, I remember, I think it was in D.C., it was Brad and yourself, uh, and I was still uh, covering the game. I was watching you guys hitting free kicks. I mean, it's obviously there. My, my question to you is, is this is, you know, I, I, don't, I don't know if you remember on Facebook, I said, this is your year. I don't know if you remember that, but I, I still feel that way. I feel like this is like, this is a huge pivotal time for you to, to really, you know, make your mark. And it looks like you have. Now, seeing it that you, you make the World Cup team, because I think that's in the cards for you. You just mentioned Manchester United, but like, if, if you wanted to give, let's not, you know, make everybody mad in Houston, but you're not going <laughs> to stay there forever. Where do you want to go, and where do you want to play, and where do you want to keep this uh, this ball rolling? Um, you know, that's that for right now. That for me is the million dollar question. You know, it's it's what's the next best step for me in my career, and and that's the question I get asked on a daily basis. And it's, you know, obviously I want to play in a World Cup, and that's been a goal of mine since I was, you know, since I was a kid. And I love playing here in Houston. I have such a great setup. You know, my family's here. You know, great coaches, great players, great locker rooms. You know, everything's. You know, it's it's really nice here, and I love it. And uh, you know, obviously, at some point in the in my career, I've wanted to you know play against what could be considered the best. You know, and in, in whether it's in Europe and and you know, obviously, some of the top leagues in the world are there. So uh, you know, it's it's a decision that I have to make, and a decision on more on timing. You know, is is now the right time, or is now is three years the right time for me? And it's kind of a, a decision, obviously, that's been going back and forth in my head. And you know, as everybody knows, my contract's up at the end of this year, and um, so, you know, that decision is uh, is quickly approaching and uh, I can say that I've had uh, a number of different opinions from, from both sides, family, friends, and, and all others. And, um, you know, when the time's right, I think, uh, you know, I'll make the best decision for, for me and my career. But at this current, you know, at this current time, you know, I, I honestly don't know what that is. Well, let me make it for you. It's in two <laughs> months and uh, three days. 
<laughs> I mean, because you obviously look, you're you you got to know this by now. I mean, you, you are a commodity. You have you have showed that that you can play at the level you're at. And I love what you just said because you've always had that aspiration to 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 grow. And as a player, I and I look at you and I think that you're one of those players that's going to no matter what level you're at, you're going to rise to the occasion. So I wish you well in that endeavor. And I do think you're going to make the team. Well, I appreciate that. Well, still, talk, talking of the national team, uh, you know, you've, you've really made a big impact in this last year. What did you feel like the transition was like from playing in the MLS to, to taking the step up to international football? Yeah, and I, I think, uh, you know, at the start of the year, um, it was a goal of mine to, to obviously do well with Houston. And I knew if I did that, then I'd get the opportunity with, with the national team. And, and, uh, and Bob's always been good at giving players an opportunity that have done well and that have shown well. You know, pe pe players that are in form, he, you know, he brings them into camp and uh, and gives them a shot. So, you know, for me, getting called up to the Gold Cup and, uh, you know, having watched some of the qualifiers and obviously wishing that I'd been a part of that and then to, you know, to be in the Gold Cup and to have a chance to impress, uh, you know, Bob Bradley and the coaching staff firsthand was, you know, was something I really wanted to do. And, you know, looking back on that, I felt like I had a pretty good tournament. And, uh, you know, obviously Bob felt the same way and brought me in for some of the qualifiers. And my first actual appearance for uh, in the qualifiers was down in Azteca Stadium, which was, you know, an experience I'll remember for the rest of my life. So, you know, now that I've, I've been called in for, you know, the last three or four camps, I just want to make sure that I keep doing the things that I've done that have gotten me to this point, you know, which is working hard and, and never kind of letting it get ahead, getting ahead of myself, you know, always keeping my feet on the ground and, and keep working and, and always trying to improve as a player. So, you know, you're never, you're never too comfortable and you're always striving to get better and keep pushing yourself uh, farther in your career. As, as Bob said, that you're definitely going to be part of his plans for uh, South Africa. No. Or you still got to work at it. No, he hasn't said that. <laughs> no, he, he, Bob. Bob doesn't look forward because you know he he, won't, he doesn't know what anyone's going to be playing in uh, eight months. You know, yeah. in eight months' time, it could be a completely different roster. I mean, obviously, you'll have uh, the guys that have been there, like Landon and and Clint, and you know, and, and Los, and and all those guys that have you know been leaders with this team, but. As far as that, and I don't think anybody's guaranteed a you know a seat on that plane to South Africa come next June. Do you, do you feel like the right the right side though is it's got it's a little bit more open now, like it, it's 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 to me, and I think we're we're kind of swaying towards this. I mean Dempsey's more of a forward and he needs to be moved up front. And and with that being said, I mean it, you got to feel that that not just making the team but you know finding your spot in the in, in the first eleven on that right side is is, is that the next that's got to be the next step, right? Well, yeah, I mean, I think uh, competition for places in any team, you know, makes the team better as a whole. And, uh, you know, I think Clint, Clint's done a great job on the right side. And, you know, you saw that in the Confederations Cup. I think, uh, you know, people forget he scored three goals in a row against, you know, three of the best teams in the world. And, um, you know, uh, what, what, what happens next next June, obviously, every every player wants to play. And, you know, I'd love to be on the field every game starting and playing every minute. And, you know, I'm going to do the best thing I can do, which is, you know, just keep playing well and make that a tough decision for, for Bob. And, you know, whether he moves Clint up front or keeps him on the right and, you know, I play as a sub, you know, either way, I'm going to keep doing uh, every little thing that I can do to, to help my own situation. And, and hopefully that, you know, will, will sway, his, uh, sway his decision. Stuart, can you stay on the line and take some calls? Yeah, absolutely. Well, cool. fabulous. Say, stick around and...